y'all. So welcome back to my channel. Clearly I'm looking busted and crusted and I'm tired of looking like this. So today I'm going to be doing some self maintenance. I'm going to do my hair, my nails, some skin stuff, hair removal, all the things. So come along. I have been wearing this headband wig literally for like months. So the whole month of October, I was in the hospital with my grandma and then I ended up getting hospitalized and so my hair has just not been taken care of. Y'all know I cut all my hair off. It's probably been like seven or eight months since I did that. I think I did it in February. Ow, there's bottoms and stuff in my hair. Anyways, and so I just, my hair, I don't know what it's, what's happening with it. But it's been in braids, under wigs, under this wig specifically for like three months. And so I just need to wash it and like do a deep conditioner or something. I changed my shirt because I know it's about to get messy. This is my hair. I feel like it's grown a lot, but I also feel like it's taking forever to grow back. And I really hate that because I don't really know what to do with my hair in its natural state at this point. So I think today I'm going to do crochet goddess braids that are kind of short because I don't want to have to spend the whole day doing my hair today. So to wash my hair, I'm going to be using the... Maui Moisture Hair Care. This is the Curl Clench Coconut Oil Shampoo and Conditioner. I love my natural hair. I'm gonna move on to my hair removal. I'm gonna do my eyebrows and then I'm gonna dermal plane my face. I'm gonna start with my brows and for my brows, they honestly don't really grow a lot. Like they're very small and sparse already, so it's not gonna really make that big of a difference. I'm gonna use this pencil. This is LA Girl Shockwave Neon Eyeliner. And I'm gonna use this just to trace out the shape that I want my eyebrows in and then I'm going to clean them up with an eyebrow razor. Now that I have those mapped out, I'm going to just use a face oil around it and I'm going to clean up around the brow line. So I'm using this Dermaplaning Face Oil from Jazz Clear that I got from Amazon. And I'll be using this all over my face as well. So to do my face shaving, I don't think I said this, but to do my eyebrows, I just used a regular eyebrow razor that I got online. But then for my face, I'm going to be using this Gillette Venus Facial Skin Care Razor. It comes with like one and also has an extra razor that you can replace. My face honestly doesn't have a lot of hair. I feel like the outer parts of my face do. Like I have a lot of sideburnage and I do grow a lot of hair on my chin but I pluck it like every day because it's so bad. I mostly care about the outsides of my face and it really does make a big difference. Like honestly I can't tell when I do it but then when I put on my makeup that's when I really can tell.
like, I'm back. It's a whole nother day. I got tired. I think I'm like ADD and something that should take me 30 minutes takes me like three hours. So I didn't get everything done that I was supposed to get done. But it's okay because I still have time. So I'm going to start my morning with teeth whitening. So I've been seeing on TikTok this high smile brand for a long time. So I got a few things from them that I'm going to try today. So I got this teeth brightening color corrector serum from them. And then I also got this teeth whitening pat powder. Um, I'm not sure if these are meant to be used like every day or what the situation is, but I'm going to use both of them. I feel like I have a lot of tea stains on my teeth. And I've already done like a regular brush of my teeth today. So we'll see how these work. I'm going to do before and afters. I'm going to start with the teeth color corrector serum. This is like a purple toothbrush toothpaste. It says apply two pumps to a soft bristle toothbrush. Gently polish and soak through a mission for 30 seconds. Expel excess and rinse mouth after each do not swallow. This product is not a substitute for toothpaste. It's a color correction serum that enhances brightness and conceals yellow tones on the teeth surface. Yeah, let's try that one. Two pumps. This doesn't really taste like anything, like I didn't taste it at all until I got ready to spit it out and then I tasted like a very subtle sweetness, so I like that it doesn't really have a flavor. Okay, now to move on to the PAP powder. Very cheap for use. Wet toothbrush and shake off any excess water. Dip toothbrush into powder jar so that bristles are evenly covered. Brush thoroughly for two minutes. Expel and rinse mouth after use. Okay, this one also didn't taste like anything. Let me try that too. Okay, let's go do something else. All right, next up is my nails. So for about the past two years, I've been doing my own nails because I hate getting my nails done, um, and I've been using Glamnetic. So originally I started using Glamnetic because they sent me some to try, and I just fell in love with it. But ever since then, I've been buying them myself, and I love them. So this one is the Glamnetic X Bratz collection, and this one is in the style Yasmin. And the reason that I love Glamnetic so much, or one of the reasons, is that their little kits include everything that you need in them. So they come with 24 to 30 nails, depending on which collection you're buying from. And that's so that you have um, a lot of different sizes to choose from. I have really enormous, large hands. And so I was really worried when I first started using these that they weren't going to fit my nails, but they, they do. The only ones that I've had an issue with not fitting my nail beds are their super short, like the extra short ones, because I just have really long nail beds. Um, but yeah, these are great. So this one is in um, like a short almond, and I'm just taking them all out here and sizing them out to see which ones that I want to use on my nails. It just makes it faster so I don't have to like be trying to figure out which ones fit my nail as I'm going along. And then I'm just going to use this nail clip and clip my nails because my nails go really fast. So I want them to be super short when I start. And also I like to clip the sides of my nails inward so that they match the shape of the almond nails. So the key to getting good press-ons or like a good wear out of your press on nails is definitely the prep work. So I realized that like when I first started using these, I did have issues with them popping off, but I think it was just because I wasn't prepping my nails properly. So again, um, using the products that they include in the little pack and then also reading the directions before you start is actually really helpful. So yeah, like getting rid of all these little cuticles with the little nail, the cuticle pusher that they put in here really helps. Also, they include little alcohol wipes or like one little pack of alcohol wipes. So using those to make sure that there aren't any oils on my fingers and also using their file to just kind of rough up the top of my nails has really helped my longevity with these nails. So yeah, definitely taking your time with press-ons is going to make all the difference. This set, um, this is pre-recorded, so yeah, this set actually stayed on for a little over two weeks and I had to soak them to get them off. So definitely works. They have really good glue too, by the way. Um, but yeah, so here I'm just continuing to prep and file, get my nails all in order for the 
um, press ons and then I'm going to go ahead and use the alcohol wipes that they include like I said to just make sure that there aren't any, any oils left on my fingernails so that they will stick so this is one of the things that you really have to pay attention to in the directions they ask that you use the glue on your natural nail and also on the press on nail and then it says to apply the nail in like a downward angled motion and hold it down so I've obviously edited these clips so it's not showing this in regular time but I hold each nail on for about a minute just to really make sure that they're on there good before I move on and I'm just going to continue that throughout my nails and once I'm done applying all of these I forgot to include a clip of the actual product that I used but I like to use a cuticle oil afterwards because my hands have been really dry you know it's cold outside so I'll make sure to link it in the description box but yeah that really makes all the difference I don't know why I filmed this whole thing in my bathroom. Anyways, I'm so glad I finally got a chance to just do some things for myself. I feel so much better. If you enjoyed this video, please like it. Leave a comment below telling me you like it. And subscribe so that you can see more videos from me. Um, I'll see you all in my next one. Bye.